Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. This morning, we're visiting with Morgan Hayes. She's with the University of Kentucky Biosystems and Ag Engineering Assistant Extension Professor. Now, that is a mouthful, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you know, as farmers all across the state are putting up hay, and, and right. this time of year, we start to realize that we might not have enough storage yes. or the proper storage That's for right. our hay. And so I know you're going to talk a little bit today about the importance of hay storage and sure. some options that we have. Sure. So I just wanted to maybe bring up hay storage as an option. Um, right now there's a lot of hay sort of coming into the market and a lot of people are thinking about what they want to do with their hay. Uh, and the way we store hay really changes the value of the hay, especially if we're selling it, uh, but it also changes the feeding value of the hay. So uh, some opportunities to store hay, to have it maybe have a little bit more digestible matter in it, a uh, little more of the hay to actually be available when we need it in the winter time can be pretty valuable. So. Uh, my big my big thing is uh, looking at barns, in particular hoop barns, as a very cost-effective option. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to just discuss a couple of the other options as well. Okay. So um, slide one is just a picture of a hoop barn. This is us putting one up on my farm earlier this year. Uh, We've put up a few. I actually have five, so I, I might be biased. I should just start <laughs> off with that. Uh, uh, but hay storage is really pretty important. And one of the reasons why is slide two. Um, is because a lot of people don't really think about how much of the volume of hay is really in the outside of that roll. So a lot of people will say, oh, I'm only losing two or four or six inches off the outside of my roll. It's not that much on a four foot by five foot roll or a five by six roll. And actually it's a significant portion of the, the roll. It could be anywhere from like 20 to 40% of the roll mm -hmm. that we might be losing just because of that outside couple inches. And you've lost that before you even put it out to feed. Exactly. That is that is either not available at all or it's very undigestible to the mm -hmm. animals uh, and of course the animals are going to try to waste it. Mm -hmm. So uh, knowing that that's coming, uh, I think there's a lot of reasons to really sort of look at what we're doing with our storage. Uh, and there's a few studies that have been done with some sort of differing results. So I'm going to just sort of flip through a couple okay. sort of examples for you here. This is a storage study out of Wisconsin and this study really says uh, that the storage losses are significant uh, with both twine and sisal. Uh, with a plastic twine and with sisal. Mm -hmm. It acknowledges that plastic twine has more matter with it. What it doesn't acknowledge is that that matter, if it's outside stored, is still not very digestible to the mm -hmm. animals. Uh, the second study here is a little bit more data on it, and I apologize that it's a little bit busier slide, but this is a study uh, from Michigan, and it also looks at hay storage with a couple of different options and the amount that's actually available. And it actually looks in the outside of the roll and the inside of the roll. And the inside of the roll changes a little bit depending upon the storage, but the outside of the roll is really what drives the difference in the digestibility and the total volume available to the animals. Mm -hmm. um, but in both studies, we're looking at somewhere under 5% if we store hay in a barn, somewhere under 10% if we put it under a tarp and on a good gravel base where the bottom doesn't get completely squashed and, and broken down. Uh, and we could be up to 40% loss on our hay if it's outside. So huge differences. Huge differences. And economically, you're going to have to decide what the value of your hay is yourself mm -hmm. on your own farm. And then you're going to have to make the decisions about the cost of that building or that tarp or whatever it is uh, as compared to uh, what's available. Uh, there's a study. Uh, it's in our extension pub, uh, AGR 171. Mm -hmm. uh, and it really talks about the cost of hay storage that's our final slide. And what it really tells us at the end of the day is that um, hay storage uh, does have a cost somewhere between $3 and $5 a bale in a barn, probably about $2 on a good gravel pad with or without the tarp. It's a little bit different. But really, that cost is pretty easy to absorb if you're able to save somewhere in the neighborhood of 30% more hay. Absolutely. And you know, some farmers might say, well, I have plenty of hay this year, so I can afford to maybe lose some, store it outside. I, I can't make that investment. But you know, little steps toward that, even like you were talking about, to get that gravel base and, and mm -hmm. something on top, that's still going to save us a lot. Because there's going to be years where we don't have that ample, qual or ample quantity of hay. Exactly. And that's when this is going to be so important to have. Well, and even on a good year, you might be able to sell some hay if you yeah. store it properly. So. Yeah. So the importance is know what you have, how much you have in it, and then evaluate to move towards some type of permanent or 
or even temporary, temporary storage. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Well, thanks, Morgan, for the information. If you have questions or would like a copy of our publication about hay storage, it goes extensively into the different options as well as some of the things that Morgan showed about the economics behind it. You can just contact your local extension office or you can get online and search for that publication. Either way, we're happy to help and appreciate you watching. Have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.